you will hate this. You will hate this because I'll take you back. I'll take you back to all the way back to slavery or whatever. You oh, you will hate boy. that. Yeah, yeah. I know. He, he so so what, what do you got to say about slavery and look, how look, this look, affects look, slavery look, 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 let me tell you today? Something. That's what I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. What was uh, and it's unfortunate uh, where breeders you have a, a in slavery you, you have the big man they'll find the biggest uh, sturdiest woman and they will be breeding that's it you ain't there for no for no loving you need to make me some stronger super slave. That's The culture. the culture, yes, the what, culture. What brought you was like, oh, go over here, have a good time. Go over here and have yes. a good time. Everybody was trying to tell and tell you exactly what to do, right? Yes, yes. Oh, Back in that's the day, a, on the ship, uh, it, it doesn't matter which day it is. It happens. We, we're trying to bring what we did in the past and relate it to what's happening in the present. Yes, and yes. Doing these things that are getting out there, you know. So and they roll oats or whatever you call yes. it or whatever. Yeah. Those people are the ones like, hey man, you need to go ahead and get you some more, or whatever. You know, go get you some of that. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, but we, hey, they we, got the they got the girls over there. You know what I mean? Going yeah. over there, they, we run the train. You gonna come join us? You know, we ain't got time like, for that. Yeah, that no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but yeah. that that same culture is is you know generation not gen I would well I guess it would be generation by now or whatever. Let's, let's go and let's then. Go. then you will hate this. You will hate this because I'll take you back. I'll take you back to all the way back to slavery or whatever. You you will hate that. I know. He, he so so what, what do you got to say about slavery and look, how look, this look, affects look, slavery? Look, 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 today. Something. That's what I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. What was, uh, and it's unfortunate uh, where breeders, you have a, in slavery, you have the big man, they'll find the biggest, uh, sturdiest woman and they will be breeding. That's it. You ain't there for no for no loving. You need to make me some stronger super slaves. That's what they was trying to make super slaves. And then the mentality, just hold up before I'm you waiting, look I'm at waiting, you. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting the, for. The I'm mentality. The mentality. Uh, well, that's what we were doing: breeding, breeding these women, and breeding uh, newer and better slaves. The man didn't have to be there. He can just keep going and walk away. That dude that we talked about earlier. He wasn't big with nothing, but he'll be a breeder. Just drop C, keep it going. Let's get another one. Drop C, keep it going. After hundreds of years, okay, we say slavery lasted almost approximately 400 years or 350 years, something like that. Okay, now, okay, we don't have the the, 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 the family or whatever. Some of them, but you breeding. Then the men, they used to just get me. think the breeding is more so because I what? ain't got to cross the Atlantic anymore? Yes. Oh, well, I ain't got to cross the Atlantic no more. I can just breathe right here and we just raise what we want. We raise the slaves, Kane. Yes, that's coming yeah, from the Yeah, master. we raise what we want. We want yes. these these particular uh, slaves. It's cheaper to just to go ahead and have a baby right here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the. And the, killing the, them the, all. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, but who, you who? ain't going to, you're not going to, um, you don't want to make that, 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 that trip across the Atlantic and keep making it. And then will they make it back? Well, okay, capitalistic slave master, Roger that. Yes. Okay. Oh no, bro, no. Uh, okay, and I know I should. That's my dog, people. That's my dog. I feel like we podcasting right now. I know we have a discussion, but my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but, but yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, like that. Don't you think that you can make uh, more bang for your buck if I'm if I'm gonna go ahead and have these people intertwine and make these relations and make more babies so I can have, you know, baby slaves and have them grow up and they'll be working in the house. Yeah, that's true. But it does something to the mentality. Yeah. But it goes, it goes to the mentality. I said that that contributes, but we, we done went past the slave master and then we get on a cultural thing of now I just talk about specifically talking about slavery, black males, and how we are perceived, okay, as sexual uh, beings. You know, I was in whatever service I was. Y'all need to let me know. But going overseas somewhere, come on. Hey, black man, whatever. In many different nationalities or whatever. I, I, I don't know dance. if I agree with I don't, I don't know if I agree with you. Only because, okay, go. you know, the, the women that are overseas, 
mm-hmm. you know, it's exotic to have a black person in their area. You know what I'm saying? In their country. It's exotic to them. I actually asked this when I was over there in Germany. And I, and because uh, in Germany, you know, it's a lot of, you know, pale white guys or whatever, right? And when you're over there and they see a black guy, they either say he's American or African, right? And then they talk to you and they see that you're American. It's like, oh, man. And it's exotic because they're not used to it. It's not there all the time. So now you're like, it's not like you say that the black man is a... a you know, very responsible, and he would be a great uh, husband to me. You know, it's know none that. of that. It's not. It's, that's not the case. It's it's something exotic for them. Kane, you're speaking to my point exactly. Mm-hmm. Exotic. Say what yeah. you want. It's yeah. just about the sex again, man. Yeah, yeah they yeah, want to yeah. be with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you go all the way around the world, whatever. Now, yeah. it's, a yeah. lot of things have changed now, but still, the perception of the black man. And that was, I say, a little while ago, years ago. It was okay. They dance good. They have sex good. Every black man has a big old good gracious. Okay, penis people, good gracious. Okay, right that. And uh, so that's the perception, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But, but we have to get out of it. And I was just giving you um, a different argument in a, a different debate in the aspect of what did that mentality come from? Could it have originated from? the slavery and the breeding and kept going or whatever. I, I really don't. Do you think that in the early uh, 1900s, 10, 20, 30s, that during that time frame, uh, were black men just sexual objects just going out there doing what they do? 1910s? Or were they more well, so into the family thing well they was you know let me see when did they free i'm so, talking well, about we, we was, had we was, nice. free. We was free so yeah, yeah we were free so, yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was just yeah, yeah we was free so yeah. yes the the family unit they was trying to stick together because exactly. we only could lean and depend on ourselves back Wait, then what, it wasn't no bunch of baby it mamas was, in it no during that time no, so now survive. what mm-hmm. what transpired that you just the mentality so what 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 made the mentality change from the okay. 20s 30s and then civil rights and then you know currently great. Great. what great. changed great point with the, and, what changed great point and i know where you're going to go with this because no, I'm I know. My, okay I'm this, this, what you're gonna go. <laughs> this, this is what's going to go okay we will we'll say this uh-huh. is what changed okay the, the yeah the black family the cohesion 1910s 1930s uh let's go up until the 50s started to hit the 60s or whatever still had the black cohesion family and all that stuff but what happened uh, when did feminism hit in feminism hit in and then i'm gonna write the vote was, for women i don't i don't remember what year that was. That what I, I, I can't yeah feminism yes i'm going what i'm gonna go into with the uh-huh. feminism that 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 transpired that wasn't affecting too much of the, the black ladies, but as a caveat to feminism and all of these different rights and everything, the government came in. I knew that this is what you gonna you wanted to say. The government came in. Okay, you have uh, these kids. We're gonna give you free public housing. But if the man is there, you're not getting it. No. Who asked say again? for the Who asked for the government? That's the thing. He did somebody get did, did, did somebody get up to be the leader and say, "Hey, look, we need the government to be involved," or they just the government said, "You know what? We need to be involved in the black community, and we need to make sure." Did they do that on their own, or did somebody promote that? I, I feel like I'm in Congress, so uh, I cannot answer that question at this time, uh, sir. No, nah, but uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I, 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 I can't it, say it who ends else with hustler. That. You know, that, that, oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you can use some of this material, but we are not going to do that today. We are, hey, I don't know what person, hey, I, I need you. Oh, man. I'm not raving I'm no saying, red flags. I'm just saying, you know, once you get the those guys meeting with the government and they have sit downs and, hey, let's do this. And I'll yeah. sit here and promote it. I'll be that speaker for you. I'll get out here and do my thing.
um, cut. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. But that's saying. that's a that's a, a lot we talked about in that aspect right there. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's that's even all right. So hear me out. So let's say that happened. Let's say that, you know this hustler came through and um, talked to you know the government was you know a good speaker. And everything came through and talked to the government and said, hey, this is what we should do. And I need you to push this issue. And then and then he pushed the issue. Um, and then now you're in a sense where you just created a monster and it starts spiraling downward, meaning now you don't have the men in there. Now, you know, the, the, uh, the kids of these uh, fatherless uh, families yeah. are now acting out. They're reaching out. I want my dad. They don't actually say it but they're just like i want my dad or whatever they're screaming inside that's what i need i need a yes. dad but but that's not the portrayal so what they do they start going to gangs right that's what they, it's like what gang is a, is a culture you know getting the bloods the crips or whatever vice lord whatever right so you get all those they, they get into the gangs and now they're in the gangs and i feel like oh man i feel you know this is you know you know they got my back i don't have a male figure in my life and this is what happened. So it's like it spiraled. It kept spiraling downward, downward. So now we're <laughs> now we're at a space where I mean the, the gangs are out there, but not like they used to be yeah, in the 90s, really. right? But now we're we still got these um families where these you know young men are not being you know brought up correctly and what what's happening. You know, we- now we got the you know. LG. I know when you. LG. I know. I know. I know you finna yeah. go. But we'll, we'll slow <laughs> that down. For a second. But, but I'm just saying. Is, so I now they they're still the, reaching. Not the, maybe the, so the thugs. Some of that you know. The feminine, uh, femininity is coming out so much. The toxic masculinity and all these coin phrases that they have. Uh, when men need to be men. And should be allowed to be men to raise these boys. Now we, I'm, I'm taking ownership for us. For you can take ownership for yourself, but I'm saying for men, we have to start being a part of our kids' lives. That's why I keep preaching and t- just saying, because I don't want to preach to anybody. But mm-hmm. I keep saying that, regardless if you don't have a relationship with the mother, if y'all don't want y'all separate ways. We can't use the, the the child, boy or girl, as a, a crutch. No, you didn't give me this. I can't let you see your kid. Oh, you talking to this person? I can't let you. We got to let these men, let okay. us men okay. raise the kid because that's what's happening wrong in families across the globe, across the globe, okay? Yeah, doesn't yeah. matter what color you are. Yeah, we I, need I agree. to be, and we got to be a part of our kids' life. So, yeah. uh, but and the devil's advocate because sometimes they can try to be, but then there's this wall that's that's been put up there. Oh yeah, uh, I yeah. agree. And that'd a be the of, woman. That'd be the woman's side. That, you know, that's the only thing that they can hold against them is the kids. You know what I mean? Like they oh, may yes. not hold anything else against them, money or any other thing, but the kids is you know. That's what they hold it, and then the the, uh, the guy just don't want to have that fight. He's tired of fighting. And and, and I say I I'll, I'll say this, and it's a final thought. I, I fought you so many times when we debated about you. You boil it down to the family unit, and I have to say that's a hundred percent right. That's a hundred percent right. The family unit. Mm, got him. Yeah, got him. That's what I'm talking so, about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what needs to happen. Y'all take it easy. Hey, comment in the uh, down below. Put, put, I'm telling you, we'll reach out to you. We'll, we'll. If yes. it's me, if it's if it's old Mitch, if it's me, if it's whoever, we'll. we'll that. And we'll uh, reach out to you. shout out to our producer. She is the bomb, doing a good job, a great job, and getting all this content out there. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, what branch did he grow? What branch is he from, y'all? Oh, me? And, uh, oh, me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can all, everybody can figure out where you from, you know? Hey, no, no, they can't. Yeah, they can't. They Roger can't. that. Roger right. that. Well, we can. 10-10. I was finna say 10-10. Hey, let me disregard. <laughs> you need to stop. 
Oh, well. That's all and they just because he have a beard, that don't mean he was special forces or anything like that. Yeah, he tried to look all rugged. <laughs> hey, and, and also, figure out what our jobs were. It's going to be kind of yeah. crazy, but figure out what our jobs were in the military. Yeah. What was mine? What was his? You know, mm-hmm. put it in the comments. All right, you guys. Y'all take it easy, and we'll see you next time yeah. on Comfortable Truth. Roger that. Mm.